Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling from glen to glen and down the mountainside. The summer's gone and all the flowers are dying. It's you, it's you must go and I must bide. But come ye back when summer's in the meadow. This is to do with First World War. Now, the soldiers that made up this war came from all over the world, obviously from Britain and from France, and people fought here very bravely, but people also came from India, from Africa. So we want to look at the stories of how people cared for one another. And one of the ways they did this was by uh, sending gifts. They would send letters. Princess Mary, at the time, wanted to send them um, a gift at Christmas. She sent out half a million of these gift boxes. So what I've got here is a, a box which represents the kind of experience they had. Make a small wooden box, put a little cotton wool in it, and put a flute to play on in the middle of the cotton wool. We're using this, this um, tin as our inspiration. And you can see that on the lid, she's got a border around the edge and she's got the date. We okay. stuck it down so that you can lift this up to have a look and see what's happening. Could we just cross with the T and the S? And uh, maybe, so uh, maybe if you, you use... Oh, come here. Yeah, I bet it's... Okay. Now that is the front. Yeah. And it will make sure it kind of shows the real... It's been pressed Yes, because it comes out, doesn't I it? So. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think so. Just saying, you know, and that about... Oh, and then I realised... 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. Yes! <laughs> oh, is that what it's for? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's got a little spot of this polish. So if you then just use this kitchen roll to so rub it all over the design. So what I'm going to be doing with you is basically getting you to write and talk about what you think those experiences were like. And it's connected with the gift boxes and that we're going to kind of basically create our own sort of imaginary stories that could go in these gift boxes. If you were being sent to war, one practical thing that you think you would bring with you? I would take my diary and pencil. Diary and pencil. The good life. Something emotional. A photograph of my best friends. <laughs> Something practical. Can you some kind of food or drink. So I'm sending him some tambourine balls to remind him of home. What taste do you think might remind them of home? Chicken, chicken, chicken flavor. What smell would you like them Lavender to have? Smell. Lavender. Lavender. Spices. Piece of music or song would you send? Again, if you write it down or just tell us and try and tell us why. It is no secret what God can do. What I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to write a letter to your soldier. Can I offer you a pen? In the letter I'd like you to explain why you're sending them, what you're sending him. Dear soldier John, just a note to thank you for going to war on my behalf. Thinking of you and wondering how you are. <laughs> Then there's the idea of writing messages on a little fold-up book so you can have a little keepsake. ID card. Our ID card. Yes. If you get blown up oh, and you've got your little purse on you yeah. with your identity card in it, they'll know who you are. Just hold it. OK. Just a minute. We will then make a parcel to give to the Battersea group. So there'll be an exchange. Just put your finger on there, Kev. Do you remember we packed up a box of gifts to send to them? Yeah. And they've also packed up a box of gifts to send to us over here. But they were really interested in sending you some music. I think you'll recognise. Oh, the pipes, the pipes are calling. Thank you.
नाजोर से नाची बात के Thank you.